everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel back for the penultimate episode of chucky episode seven of course hit that subscribe button leave a like and be sure to let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on this week's episode of chucky spoilers ahead and enjoy so a, a very straightforward episode simply they needed to get the spirit out of chucky um to rid the world of the final spirit would mean um Nika Pierce would have to let go of her Chucky and then he would jump bodies hopefully back into the other Chucky. That obviously did not go it went to a plan sort of. The spirit left Chucky and then Nika Pierce's Chucky went in to another um which was obviously the priest. It was it, Ultimately, the, the the soul ended up back in Chucky's body. That's the main thing, of course. But this episode, you dealt with a lot of different things. That wasn't really the main thing. That was the obvious thing because the last Chucky doll, um, you have Kyle and uh, Andy and Nika and um, you have Glenda. You have Jake and Devin trying to work out their, their love story. You've got Lexi, who's upstairs having a mental breakdown, talking to a ghost version of... Uh, Nadine, who I thought it was a very, very good scene between them two. I loved the music. I loved how well Bella Higginbotham delivered the scene. She's truly become a very, very good actor. Uh, you know, her role in Mighty Ducks was brilliant. A great introduction to people, um, bringing her into the acting world. <clears throat> but her relationship with Lexi, Jacob, uh, Jake, uh, and Devin this season has been brilliant. I loved how all these characters came together and they simply had one goal in mind. <clears throat> get this one spirit out. Get the spirit out of Nika and basically merge into the final doll and ridding the world of Chucky. And ultimately try to kill it. That did not go to completely to plan because one of the other nuns who was working with the hench Chucky came back and had Lexi at gunpoint and then ultimately they were going to walk away and then she had a knife in her eye and then Chucky was defeated by Andy. <laughs> it was a terrific culmination of because you thought, oh wow, they're going to get away, there's one episode left. But no, um, Glenda finally fought back, you know, fight, fought against her her feelings for her father, and everything that was going on, and she killed the nun by putting the the knife that Chucky had talked about, which was hidden when he was when she was talking to him in the Hannibal Lecter costume. Um, amazing homage, by the way, because he was involved uh, with um one of the seasons, one of the series of Dip TV, the um the the, the writer of uh, Chucky. So there's a lot of, you know, little things like that in there. But ultimately the story was really cool. What was really weird was was how the um the priest sort of blew up. <laughs> I thought that was a really weird scene. It's like he transformed. He delivered the Chucky voice very well. I, I thought that was brilliant. And then he sort of tried to fight back and ultimately he just went boom. And there's a reason they did like eight different shots of it. And I thought that was so weird but so terrific and they delivered it so well. Um and for me, this episode, as I said, was so well paced. And everyone was on the same page. There's a couple of deaths in there, um, including the priest, Chucky, and the nun. The other woman who obviously defies the entire plan, who was working with the um, the chief, got away. And she was sort of on a cliffhanger of sorts. Because I think there's a Chucky within her, a Charles Lee race version. And she's somehow suppressed it this entire time. Because she started laughing. Like Chucky, it was very unclear how to go about that scene. But obviously, going into the other characters, Tiffany Doll was officially killed and destroyed after um, oh, after Jennifer, who's the one in the doll, ran away. <laughs> I was just destroyed by uh, by a truck. So leaving Jennifer Tilly, um, the body with Tiffany inside was traumatizing, and now she got to find a new home for the body, well, and to frame someone else, basically, and put them in prison. So there, are, the the series has been very well put together, but I think there isn't much of a future for the show, in the sense of, as I said, Chucky's now dead, all these characters can go back to living their lives, Andy and Kyle are doing whatever they're doing, 
the old lady who put Jake and Cohen there has a bigger plan at large. So maybe this will be the culmination of season three. Um, if she's not seen in the finale, unless she's killed in the finale, um, with two of the main dolls being killed, what do we have in mind for um, uh, Glenn, who was obviously shot by Nika by accident as she was aiming for Tiffany? And obviously those three are now going elsewhere to save their lives. So there's a lot at play in, in terms of, you know, their Glenn, Glenda and Tiffany are still alive in, in some ways they shouldn't be. Um, you had the old lady who's going elsewhere to put a plan in place. And then you have Jake, Devon, Lexi and the rest of the cast doing whatever their next step is because apparently it's a time skip in the next episode where it'll be the holidays and plans will be put in motion to finish the season off but i thought it was a very good penultimate episode um yeah i, I think the pacing was so well done what i also loved about this episode was the whole um confessing your sins and to see father's um sin after what had happened to him it was so emotional how he talks about why he's been how he has been this entire season, his willingness to st to protect the kids even though they'd disobeyed him the entire season, you know, to be there for them when Dean's been killed and for the nun and the father to be working together, for him to be excommunicated, for them doing the uh, exorcism by themselves. I just thought every character was on point this season. Everything was delivered to perfection, camera wise, visuals, writing, Stop Mancini as Chucky. I loved how he brought different versions to life. And it's going to culminate into one brilliant finale. And maybe next week's episode will be the last one we ever get. But I think there will probably be at a push one more season, depending what. Um, what the guys have in store with the Chucky story. So you guys let me down below in the comments. Are you happy with how Chucky's been this season? Are you excited for the finale next week? What are your thoughts on Don Mancini, the kids, and the rest of the crew involved? Stick around for next week's finale, as I can't wait to talk about it and speculate about season three, if there is even room to speculate. And of course, I said I'll be doing the movies once the show wraps up. Subscribe, like as always, and goodbye.